morning children welcome back to class 3 english lesson 8 a trip to mars this story is about an astronaut named captain jenna she is the captain of a spacecraft which flies into outer space here we will read how she travels to the planet mars alone and what she does over there do you know what is an astronaut children astronaut is a person trained to travel in outer space in the spacecraft what is a spacecraft it is a special and a powerful vehicle that carries people into outer space what do you think outer space is outer space is the space that is beyond the earth here today we are going to read about how captain jenna travels to planet mars what is a planet planet is a large round object in space that revolves around the sun there are eight planets mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune here captain jenna has traveled to mars mars is the fourth planet from the sun captain jenna had gone into outer space several times in a spacecraft with other astronauts and scientists but this time it was difficult this time she was going to fly a spacecraft to mars alone she wanted to explore it and see and know a lot of different things about the planet she also wanted to collect rocks and soil from there and bring them back to earth for the scientists to study them after a lot of discussion with other astronauts and scientists captain jenna set off on her journey to mars a few days later in this paragraph captain jenna has already traveled to the space several times with whom she has traveled with the other astronauts and scientists who are these scientists scientists people who know a lot about science are called as scientist and this time she didn't want to go with anyone she wanted to go alone to explore to explore means to travel to a new place to learn about it she wanted to go alone she wanted to collect the rocks and the soil from there to bring them back to the earth to show to the scientists to study them so she didn't want to go with others she wanted to go alone after lots of discussion with the astronauts and the scientist she alone set off on her journey to the mars a small robot called curio accompanied her on her trip to help her on mars as she moved further into space captain jenna watched the earth getting smaller and smaller she noticed the stars in the sky and thought about the planets that go around the sun after many days the spacecraft finally reached mars it took a long time for them to reach mars since it was so far from earth now what happened captain jenna set off on a journey to mars alone but who was helping her a small robot called as curio accompanied her to the trip and as she moved further into the space what did she understand understood that the earth is becoming smaller and smaller as she went higher and higher she noticed the stars stars in the sky and also thought about the planets that go around the sun and after many days what happened the spacecraft reached mars it took a long time for them to reach mars since it was very far from the earth Oh wow I can see the two moons of Mars Captain Jenna said eagerly to herself she then landed the spacecraft on the plan- planet surface as she looked out of the window she became very excited about finally reaching Mars she couldn't wait to start her work let me take my digging tool with me she said then she opened the hatch door and got down from the spacecraft Captain Jenna wore a special space suit which she had brought along with her. She also carried a air tank 
on her back to help her breathe as she did not want to breathe the dangerous air on Mars. She looked at the surface of the planet and decided to walk far away from the spacecraft in search of rocks and soil. Mars is full of large and rocky hills, she said. After a long journey, she reached Mars. And what did she see there? She saw two moons of Mars. And now she was very much eager for herself. She landed down. She got down from the spacecraft on the planet's surface. Surface means the flat top or outer part of the planet. As she looked out of the window, she saw Mars and she couldn't wait. She started her work. And what did she do? She took a digging tool with her and then she opened the hatch door. Hatch door is a special kind of door found in ships or spacecrafts. She opened the door and she got down from the spacecraft. Captain Jenna wore a special space suit. Space suit is a garment worn by astronauts in outer space. And what did she do? She also carried the air tank. Air tank is a large barrel where air is stored to be used later. And now she didn't want to breathe the air which was in the mass because it was a dangerous air. And she looked at the surface and then she took her air tank. And then what happened? She walked far away from the spacecraft in search of the rocks and soil. She says that Mars is full of large and rocky hills. Here, Captain Jenno says that Mars has two moons and Mars is full of large and rocky hills. Captain Jenna's scientist friends had already told her about all the good places on Mars from where she could dig out the rocks. Now, I should go in search of the spots from where I can find the right rocks for the test, she said. Curio too went along with her to help her find the rocks. The scientist had asked Jenna to collect rocks and soil from the surface of Mars because they wanted to see if there was life on Mars long ago. Captain Jenna used her digging tool and collected a lot of rocks to perform tests on them. She then took the help of Curio to study the rocks and see if they could be taken back to the scientists on Earth. As her scientist friends had already told about the places on the Mars where she should go and she should dig out the rocks, now she went in search of the spot which was suggested by her friends and where she could find the right rocks for the test. Curio, the robot, also went along with her to find her the rocks. Now, the scientist had asked Jenna to collect the rocks and the soil from the surface of the Mars. Why? Because they wanted to see that there was life on the Mars long ago. Long ago did people stay there in the Mars. Captain Jenna used her digging tool and she collected lots of rock to perform the test on them. And she took the help of Curio to do all those work. Curio helped Captain Jenna study the rocks. It also assisted her in digging a few more rocks from the soil. Finally, it took a picture of Captain Jenna and sent it to Earth for all the other astronauts and scientists to see. Now, the robot Curio helped Jenna to study the rocks and also it helped her to dig the few more rocks from the soil and also it clicked a picture of Captain Jenna and sent it to Earth for other astronauts and the scientists to see them. At last the time came for Captain Jenna and Curio to leave the red planet and head back home. They travelled past all the planets and stars. Captain Jenna's work was done as she had brought back all the rocks which she had collected on her mission. Now what happened? Now after their work, after a long time, Captain Jenna and 
robot Curio, they left the red planet. What is a red planet? Mars is also called as red planet because of the color of its surface. Mars, Mars is called as a red planet. After that, what happened? They got back from Mars and they traveled past all the planets and all the stars and they came back to the place where they wanted to reach. And also she was happy because a task or a piece of work that has to be completed by someone is already done. And also her work was she wanted to get the rocks from the Mars that was done by her. She came back and told everyone about what she saw on Mars. The scientists thought that people had lived on Mars a long time ago. They even wondered if Mars was green and blue like Earth at one time. All the scientists congratulated Captain Jenna and told her what excellent work she had done. Well done Captain Jenna. Soon it will be time for you to get ready for another trip, they said together. Now what happened? As she came back from the Mars, she started to share the experiences about the Mars. And now the scientists thought that the people had lived in the Mars long time ago. And also they even wondered that even Mars was green and blue like Earth at one time. And scientists congratulated Captain Jenna and told her the, that she has done an excellent work. And now, and also they joined together and then they told that we will all get ready for one more trip to the Mars. This is how Captain Jenna travelled alone to Mars and brought the rocks which was necessary for the scientists to do the experiments. Thank you.